Well, you mean beside the US elections? I would assume that the possible change of policy of the Bank of Japan is the most underestimated risk factor at the moment. Japan is the largest holder of US treasuries, and we shouldn't forget a change in policy will really affect the whole world. Well, in equities at the moment, even though we're rather fundamentally neutral, we like Japanese equities, which offer attractive valuation, a supporting central bank, and also quite resilient earning growth. In emerging markets, at the moment, we see opportunities in Latin America, especially Mexico, thanks to its still so energy. We'll wait a bit more for the whole complex to recover, as the market are not yet convinced about the China story, but this will certainly be a story for 2024. On bonds, we have re-entered US Treasuries, where we see capital appreciation potential, and gold actually is quite an attractive diversifier in times of geopolitical turmoil. Also, we expect real rates to normalize, and there is always good support for gold in this case. Because in a world of uncertainty and transition, multi-asset provides a necessary agility to firstly transition from one winning asset class to the next, secondly using the entire spectrum of available asset class to efficiently diversify sources of alpha, and thirdly of course also be able to use optionality and liquid alternative to better diversify the portfolio when all other asset class underperform. Mm -hmm.